Good morning. I look super sleepy, but it's 6 a.m. I just woke up. The sun just barely came up. We're gonna load up the truck. Oh, she's shivering. And go fishing. Keep them close, you know. My hands, they know where to go. I'm coming, I'm the first one standing in line. Put my day in the sun, I've been working till the sun don't shine. All right, me and my girl made it to our fishing spot. Um, nobody's here, which is awesome. I haven't seen it. Oh, there's one that just hit the top. Not that I'm looking for, I like have never thrown a dry fly here, but it's always nice to see them out there. They survived a winter. Right, Brooke? You're the best adventure, kitty. You are. She's the best. Uh-oh, Mama Goose isn't gonna be very happy with us. Brooke, you're getting close to the water. You're making me nervous. Goose eggs. If she comes, we won't disturb her. We won't hurt them. I'll make sure Brookie doesn't hurt them. Apparently, Mama Goose is using an old beaver dam for her eggs, just like I use an old beaver dam to fish. So, this one's a little bit bigger. I feel bad. I scared Brookie. I flung him on shore and she was like, what is coming at me? And ran back behind the camera. But here he is, I'm gonna let him go. A little bigger, a little chunkier. And he's gone. Sorry I scared you, Brookie, with that one. <laughs> I think she's already forgotten about it. So um, now I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm throwing a special soft tackle uh, olive woolly bugger and they seem to like it. They In the morning, they weren't aggressive at all. And seriously, I went like an hour straight trying everything, not catching a fish. And I was really worried I was gonna get skunked today. But it took a turn for a better. They're actively feeding more now, now that it's warmed up a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I'm still really cold. I don't know why I didn't bring my hoodie over here. I thought it was gonna be warm. They've been tiny so far. I usually catch some big ones here, so fingers crossed. Brookie, are you mad that I flung the fish onto shore right onto you. Now you're gonna eat my tippet? Not cool, Brookie. Look, another little one. Maybe I'm catching fish, but uh, they're also little. They're usually really big in here. Brookie, are you cold? You going back in your little cat carrier? Hi. Hi, fishing kitty. It's gotten colder. Some storm clouds are kind of rolling in. A little rain drops every once in a while. But um, I'm going to be honest, the fishing slowed down. I have switched flies and tried to get them to, um, to eat it. But there is one huge one living right there. Once he followed mine, another time he hit it, but I didn't get him. I don't know what happened, but he could have just bumped it too, not by the hook or right behind it. But... I'm bummed. It's okay. I'm probably a little rusty because I haven't fished since I had such a tough semester, but he's big. I'm going to be back for him um, another day, though. Right now, he needs a break. These tigers are kind of territorial. Lots of times, you'll see them in the same spot. He's literally just sitting in a log right there, and every time I strip past him, well, the couple times that I did, he would either follow or try to nip at it, but no serious takes. So me and Brookie are going to move on to, uh, I think, across the lake. Give that a couple tries, then we might uh, go somewhere else. All right, everything's all blown up. Getting my little flippers on. Rookie's up top, and we're gonna catch some fish. Oh Oh man, okay guys, I don't know if my GoPro got that because when I looked down it was face down. I might have knocked it over, but you didn't miss anything because it was a mess trying to net him. He's so big. Look at this tiny little fly I caught him on. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my gosh, wait till you see the size of him. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at my hands. <laughs> okay, the fly came out. Oh, look at that chunk. Holy cow. That's what you call three and a half pounds, I would say. Okay, he went through one hell of a hot fight. I'm gonna get him in the water, take a pick, and let him go. 
Oh my god, you guys, that was insane. <laughs> I just let him go. He swam away. Happy ever after. He was a beauty. I'm so happy I got him. I've been catching little fish all day. And I was about to give up and then I wasn't going to float tube. I would have float tubed way earlier, but I thought I had forgotten my nozzle. <laughs> then I looked at my pump and the nozzle was in the pump the whole time. I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> so I pumped up the float tube. I had everything else with me and got in and look, that was literally like my second cast. So I am so glad I did that. That thing was a beauty. I'm going to try and catch some more because why not? That was a fight on that little tiny. I'm using like a size 20. No, it's probably an 18 ice cream cone on 5X. And I don't know if, if any of it got on the GoPro, but it was chaotic getting it in the net because my stupid net was stuck over here. So I only had like this much room. So here it is. I'm holding, I'm netting with my left hand, which usually I hold the rod with my left hand because I'm a lefty. And it was just chaotic, but I'm so glad it worked out. <laughs> so glad. Hey guys, I'm out here fishing again for tiger trout. It's a new day and I just was so excited to watch my video of um, catching this monster. So I pulled it up on my GoPro and it's not there. Um, during the struggle, I must have somehow made it go to camera mode. So I just got a couple clips, which is so sad. A couple of photos. I'll put them here. Man, that's so upsetting. I went bump, bump set the hook he he hit it i set the hook i'm bringing him in and he went right under me and in the video i was like i'm either stuck on the bottom or this is like a a, a lake shark something like that i said a shark because it was so big there was like no way it could be a trout and i didn't know what it was finally i got it close enough to where i could see my indicator and then where i could see him and then i started freaking out oh my god oh my god you know shaking and shaking and it was pretty funny. I wish I got it on film. You guys are gonna have to take my word for it. It's so sad. At least I landed him. You know, if I, my focus was on bringing him in on 5X on a little tiny size 20 ice cream cone is what I caught him on. And that was my priority. That's why I never looked down to see if I was recording. I just pressed the record button. I could have sworn I was recording. Stupid GoPros, man. I have a love-hate relationship with him. You just can't trust him. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I promise I'm taking the best care of the fish. I'm holding him so that he's swimming forward, getting air into his lungs, and I'm kicking back to shore because this might be a once in a lifetime tiger trout for me. I have never caught one this big. I'm making sure he's safe. I would never harm him. I mean, he's old. He is a giant. Oh my God, I have never caught a chunk this chunk. Ever, ever. And he's so orange you guys heard me on the video i was like this is either a shark or i'm stuck on something his dead weight below me on 5x on a size 18 um fly was out of this world i mean that was insane he is seriously the most beautiful fish of my life i'm gonna let him go Thanks for letting me catch you. You are unreal. I'm gonna let you be ready to go, okay? You ready, bunny? There he goes. Bye, buddy. I love you. Oh my god, there he goes. I think I could cry. <laughs> that thing was amazing. I hope I got a good picture of it. I didn't want to keep it out of the water too long. When you are that big and that obese, you are out of breath when you fight me, the fisher woman. So I wanted to get him back in the water as soon as possible and that's what I did. And he swam off happily ever after. Well, you guys, a little post catching my personal best tiger trout um, interview. I have a confession. That fish, I'm pretty positive, was Quasimodo. Quasimodo is this ginormous 
bright orange, huge humpback fish that I have stared at in this lake for two years. I have thrown everything at him and never gotten him to bit. I've seen him swimming around. He'll come check out my fly, check out my nymph, swim away. Once ever he went for it and it was a full out miss. I watched him. There's no chance I could have gotten him because my fly was here and he went and just munched and just missed. And tr Trout's eyesight isn't always as good as you think it is. So that happens a lot. That was the one time he almost went for my fly. But today I caught him and it was blind casting. Casted size 20 ice cream cone. Strip, strip, bump, bump, you know, just bump bump hammered <laughs> and I had no idea what he was you heard me and then when I got him out but as soon as I looked at him I didn't say anything to the camera he was Quasimodo the humpback of Notre Dame the hunchback of Notre Dame Quasimodo the hunch trout of Notre Lake <laughs> Guys, I seriously, like, when I see, like, a crazy fish that I'm obsessed with, I name him. And that was Quasimodo because of the size of his hump. When I saw him in the water, I always thought he was 36 inches. I'm stupid. I don't ever measure my fish. I don't know how big he was. Why don't you guys comment how big you think he was? For scale, I'll put a picture of my last personal best trout, which I know was 24 inches, and... This one was bigger than that, I swear. Pictures and video might not do him justice, but this one was way longer and way heavier. So tell me, what you guys, what do you guys think? How long do you think he was? Like I said, when I saw Quasimodo in the water, I could have sworn he was 36 inches, but his hump did not disappoint. Did you see the size of that thing? That is what you call Quasimodo, first of all, but Chunkzilla chunky cheese chunk back a notre dame that's good actually that based on how chunky is i think that should be his new name but guys he's back in there so i'm gonna see him swimming around again um today wasn't a very clear day so i couldn't sight fish at all everything i was doing was blind casting and uh but on a really really clear day for the water you can see the fish so i will be looking for chunch back chunch back chunk back a Notre Dame Quasimodo next time I'm fishing here that was unreal any better than that just so you know what gear I was using um I have my six weight uh Winston fly rod with a galvan reel I had I brought my seven weight with me as you can see I didn't even set it up but it has sinking line on there if I was going to use big streamers that's what I would use but the uh, six weight um, is set up with floating line, brand new Winston line, neon green. Um, then I'm using this Lost Creek float tube. And what's really cool is I was able to bring my camera out with me, which I don't usually get to do because of my Rocket Gator waterproof backpack. So, so this thing's sweet. I do have a discount code with Rocket Gator, as you guys probably know. You can go to rockagator.com and use Bridget20 for 20% 20 off. And I love that thing. Is it focused? There we go. Yeah, I love that thing. It allows me to do everything I love and not worry about ruining my stuff. Okay guys, I'm out of here. That was unreal. Me and my brookie just came here just looking for some good fish and I had no idea that I would catch the tiger trout of a lifetime on a size 20 ice cream cone on 5X fluorocarbon tippet, you guys. That was unreal. I had, by the way, I had the uh, fly about five feet below a little tiny um, sticker. I like to use the sticker indicators and that thing just went right down in the water. This thing hit it so hard. Sorry, I keep talking about it. I'm trying to say goodbye, but thank you so much for watching you guys. I'm back living in my trailer, back living my dream with my cat. And uh, we just had a really good day. So if you want more, please subscribe and I'll get to making more fishing videos. Th that has to be my favorite fish I've ever caught. And it was really fun in the float tube. I needed that. That was so fun. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm saying goodbye for real this time. Goodbye. <laughs>